Hey, in this recording we are going to cover how to add new pages to your website using the Realvolution site builder. So we're going to start out with um, here I am on the home page and over here this little icon that's the second one down looks like a little page these are all the pages that are on your website and you can navigate to them by clicking through. Now you'll see pages that, um, like this selling page right here, this is kind of a heading. So that's actually, we create that as a blank page and then we put pages underneath it. So that over here in the navigation, it will show up with selling. Then you'll see the little arrow that indicates there are additional pages underneath that. So, um, so let's say we want to create a new page. I'm going to go down to the bottom here and click add page. You're going to see it's going to go ahead and it's already going to have uh, a default navigation up here set for me. Now, um, obviously, you know, I want to change out that logo. So I'm going to use the details tab and select on image. I'm going to go find the logo for the site that I'm using. Hit save. Now I've got my logo there. Okay. Now what happens is it just gives the page a, a number. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to click on edit that little kind of pencil icon there and that's going to let me change this so you know I'm going to call this uh, you know home loans and I click on the little arrow little checkbox and that's going to name my page so uh, some additional features that uh, are available um, underneath this is if, for instance, if I was going to have this link out to uh, my lender, for instance, I would come in here and I would put in the website address of their, um, you know, their website where I want to take them to, and that's instead of going to my page here, it would automatically jump over to there. But you can see how these pa this page has automatically been added up here to my navigation. Now let's say, for instance, that uh, you know I want to move it underneath the uh, you know buying tab. I can drag it up there and just put it underneath there. And then let's say, for instance, like some of these are in the wrong places, but let's say I want to get rid of this page. When I select on that page, it's going to take me to it, and then I simply click on the X, and clicking on the X will ask me if I want to delete the page. I'm going to click yes. So now that page is gone. When I go back to the navigation, you can see now that also my home loans page is missing off the navigation. That is because it is now underneath the buying section of the website because I, I moved it right here. Now once I have that site created, we also have one more option here, which is the, the little eye, and that's to hide the page. So let's say, for instance, I'm working on this page. Uh, I'm not, I need to publish the site because I have some other content sent up to it, but I don't want this page to show up yet. Or maybe this is a hidden page that I just want to send someone a direct link to. I can go ahead and click on that eye, and it's going to hide that page. See, there's a little line through there now. Um, so that indicates that that, that page is not going to be visible to anybody who is there visiting my site. So, of course, once I've got my, my blank page here to start with, I can begin going in and adding the content that I'd like to have on the page by dragging and dropping those elements, uh, content elements that I would like to have available. And this makes it very easy to begin to start to build out the page that you want to have by using these kind of pre-built content blocks to help you with that. So that is uh, our tutorial on adding new pages.